All right, good morning, folks. Today's uh, Thursday, September 7th. Um, I've got the privilege today to be invited by the Ottawa Senators to the Canadian Tire Center. We're gonna be checking out all the exciting stuff that they have upcoming for the season as far as marketing initiatives go. And, and uh, I think we're gonna be able to check out some of the new food items that they have coming. And I think uh, Mr. Michael Eidenlauer is going to be in the building. So hope, hoping to get a glimpse of him and uh, also, uh, you know, uh, Jake Sanderson signed last night, so I figure he'll be around too. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go full vlogger mode for you guys. Uh, I have no idea how this is gonna go or how this is gonna turn out, but I'm gonna throw together a little video for you guys so we can uh, we can all follow along on the experience because I know um, not everyone's lucky enough to be able to, to be invited to this sort of stuff. Um, and obviously there's only a select amount of season ticket holders who were invited, so um, I'm pumped to try to, you know, try to make some content out of this and, uh, and you know, share the experience with you guys. So, so stay tuned for that. Coming at you. Hi guys, uh, thank you all for being here. I uh, thought I'd stop in, obviously. Uh, those are exciting times. Uh, most of the guys are here in town, so we're skating and having a lot of fun. But uh, once again, thank you for your support for uh, our team and, and staying behind us. And we really appreciate it. And obviously, uh, every single guy on behalf of my teammates and I, every single guy is very, very, very excited for the season coming up. Encore une fois, merci beaucoup à tout le monde d'être ici pour le sport, pour avoir des saisons. Tout le monde est vraiment, vraiment excité pour la saison des buts. So, yeah, thank you for being here and have a great day, guys. I'm the director of concessions, so I'm responsible for all the concessions on the concourse and our wonderful market and our walls. Welcome to the drink market. We cross between 30 different brands that we're here, from soft drinks up into beer, and now we've introduced that canned wine. Um, between all three locations, being the walls and this location, there's approximately 10,000 cans on the concourse, cold, ready to be served. Ice cold beer here. <laughs> Things over here. Um, the first thing um, you'll see is a hickory stick. So what we do is, uh, I love hickory sticks, so I cut them open, put almost like a cheeseburger inside. So it's like ground beef ragu, there's gonna be a little bit of shredded lettuce, tomato, and then we utilize the bag and then that'll be that one. The other ones, we're doing a, a carbonara mac and cheese. So everybody does like a lot of different things with their mac and cheese. I like double smoked pork belly. I like a lot of fat. I like truffle oil. I like all those good things. So we threw that right into uh, our carbonara, which you're also going to try over here. The next one's the gyros. So it's going to be lamb and beef, and then we do a really traditional with the lettuce and the sauce and everything else, and then wrap it up. Kind of like you would find at a street vendor. Those are the kind of things that I'm really trying to bring to here. Something that says Ottawa, but has our own distinct kind of like label on that. So try it out and I'll see everyone downstairs. Okay, first thing we're dipping into here is this mac and cheese and I think, uh, I think we're gonna like this one. This is right up my alley here. Okay, Kevin Lee, what Very do we got solid. here? Very what are we solid. scoring that out of 10? Let's go up an 8 out of 10 on that one. That's an 8 out of 10. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna give it a 7 5, but very solid mac and cheese. It's exactly how we described. That's good. Of course, with everything, and I can't walk into this building without having one, you gotta wash it down with a nice cold Coors Light. Always a 10 out of 10. Okay, next thing we're diving into here is the hickory stick cheeseburger. Basically cheeseburger toppings on top of a bunch of hickory sticks. <laughs> These are a little tough to eat. Which one? The hickory sticks? Hickory yeah. Sticks, a little tough to eat. I feel you on that. It is tough to eat. It's a little sloppy. A little salty. We're here and we're gonna give this one a good I'm gonna go seven out of ten on the hickory sticks. Probably not something I'd purchase, but I can see a drunk guy going for it. <laughs> Okay, we're saving what appears to be the best for last. We got this this euro, the one bite euro. Mm. 
This is nice. This is something that's easy to eat. Carry it around with you, the game, Kevin. Not bad at all. I can't go any higher than a 7.8 on this. But what are you expecting when you're in a hockey arena? You know, you just want some, some solid food, and, and this is what we're dealing with here. There we go. Thank you. Foot long hot dogs. All right, one last one here. <clears throat> it's the foot long hot dog. I'm not super excited, I'm pretty full already, but I gotta give it a go. Here we go. No judgment. Mm. That's actually a, a mean dog. We're gonna go 8.2. We're gonna go 8.2 out of 10 here. Mojito, vodka, big thing about this here, no paper straw. Nobody likes paper straws. I hate paper straws. We're working with plastic today, so that makes me happy. It's nine out of 10. Brewery, and then still here. This year, we're going to hop in the regular Another round of foods coming out here, and uh, not gonna lie, I'm pretty full, so take this review with a grain of salt. Chris Phillips just told me from experience these carnitas tacos are pretty good, so let's see it. Hmm. Giving that a hard nine, really good, really good. Okay, last one here. That's all I can handle. It's calamari. Everyone's favorite. Hmm. Really good. I'm going eight out of ten. Uh, I probably will mention to you for Sparty's birthday, we've got a fun little giveaway that we'll be giving out to the kids. So it's a customizable lunch bag. Sure, night, we're doing a throwback to some sweatbands, and we're gonna have hot pink, hot green, bright orange, and bright yellow. Uh, for this year, uh, the Star Wars night game is going to have a 500 piece Star Wars Senators puzzle. Uh, on January 20th, we're going to be handing the game over to the kids, and we're going to have a specialty kids takeover game, so you'll see children PA announcers, children hosts, uh, probably some fun drawings on the video boards for our players and what they look like. And on March 1st, the stable, the one that everybody loves, it's Country Night, and of course we will have an admission concert for that one as well. So there's specialty nights as well, again,
it showed this morning as I was walking around and looking at some other stuff. And, uh, there's probably 20 guys on the ice already. Um, updated seating in the Club Bell loges. Part of it was done last year. An LED ribbon you see uh, inside the hole, all the way around the 100 level, parts of the 200 level. Um, you know, we can talk about it now because it's new. We didn't talk about it once before, uh, but it kind of looked like a, well, I'll use, I'll use my age a little bit, but 1980s video game a little bit. I'm sorry, I was, I was a summer. I was going to be in that or something. Yeah, I was good. Um, spent a lot of my time training in Michigan. Uh, we grew up there uh, from Montana, so my family goes back there for the summers. And uh, I was able to get there for the month of July and hang out with them. So I'm uh, proud to be back and uh, get playing here soon. Let's talk more about the today. Of course, last night, it sounds like eight year extension. The next nine years, you're here to be playing Ottawa. Everybody's really excited about that. Can you peel back that a little bit and tell us about how it happened? How it got to this point with like you, you know, first contract extension for you, certainly how it all fell and how it came to be, and what do you think about it? How was your today? Yeah, last night and uh, this morning was pretty crazy. Um, I drove in the next day, so I got in the room at 3 o'clock. Uh, I wasn't really prepared, honestly, but I got a phone call and there was something I couldn't turn down. And you see guys like Timmy, Brady, and Josh, and uh, Shabby, so um, they, they showed the commitment to the team to the city to stay here for a long time. And, I want to be up to Ottawa. That's kind of something I want to do as well, so uh, I want to follow them. I'm proud of it. Last year we finished with a uh, Batte season. Lots of guys back. Excited about it. Just a moment to talk to fans about what we've been expecting next season from number 85. I don't know what that is. Yeah, um, I, was, I was pretty surprised, honestly. I'm, I'm one of the last guys to be here. And, um, everyone's here. It shows their commitment to the team, and uh, we want to get going quick. So um, you see the new signings this summer with Tarasenko and new goalies and all that. So um, there's definitely excitement around the city. And um, with myself, I can't wait to get, get playing in front of you guys. Um, it doesn't have to happen without um, you know, seeing the ticket holders like you guys and showing support. So um, all the boys appreciate it. All right. Thanks, everybody.